As funeral prayers were held on Wednesday in central Gaza for Palestinians killed in Israeli airstrikes the day before, the United States' top diplomat said it's time to end the war. Speaking during a trip to Brussels, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said there needed to be real and extended pauses in fighting across Gaza for desperately needed aid to reach people there. He also said Israel has now achieved its goals of dismantling Hamas and killing those responsible for the October 7th attack. Israel, by the standards it set itself, has accomplished the goals that it set for itself, the strategic goals it set for itself. So this should be a time to end the war. On Tuesday, Washington defied humanitarian groups to conclude Israel was not blocking aid as a 30-day U.S. deadline for Israel to address the situation in Gaza expired. Hunger, starvation. United Nations officials warned at a Security Council meeting the same day that famine remained imminent. Aid deliveries. At the meeting, the U.S. stressed that there must be no forcible displacement nor policy of starvation in Gaza by Israel. Which would have grave implications under U.S. and international law. On Tuesday, Israel's military forced out most of those remaining in the northern Gaza town of Beit Hanun, estimated at a few thousand residents and already displaced families. Residents said Israeli troops ordered them to head south through a checkpoint. The military began besieging the town after sunrise prayers and struck buildings full of residents, this man said. We left without taking anything with us, no bags, no winter clothes, nothing, this woman said. Israel's campaign in northern Gaza has seen tens of thousands of Palestinians evacuated from the area. Palestinians say Israel is clearing it for use as a buffer zone and potentially for a return of Jewish settlers. The Israeli military has denied any such intention, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said he does not want to reverse the 2005 withdrawal of settlers from Gaza, though hardliners in his government have talked openly about going back.